Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweaks video. These are some of the best tweaks you can get on iOS 13.3 on the new Uncover Jailbreak. But also if you guys are running CheckRain on the older devices, of course these are tweaks you guys can install on those devices as well. Um, but super exciting list here. Some of them are old, some of them are new you might not have ever heard of. I will leave the names of all the tweaks I mentioned down in the description along with the repos you will need to add in order to get them. Uh, also, if you guys want my wallpapers, you can find them on my Telegram. The link for that is in the description as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. First up, I got Snowboard. This is going to allow you to theme your app icons. It's basically the tweak that enables themes on your device, and I really do like it. So if we go into settings, go into tweaks, go to Snowboard here, and go to select themes, uh, these are all the themes that I am currently running. I have Phoenix OS, Bohemic, Bionic, and Felicity. Those are definitely some of my favorite themes uh, right out the box after a fresh jailbreak. I really like the way the icons look for all of these different themes. Um, and a cool trick that you guys might not know about Snowboard is if you go ahead and tap and hold on an icon, edit your home screen, put them into wiggle mode, and then double tap on an icon, you can actually choose which theme icon you want to use. So that is extremely cool. And there's also some extensions for Snowboard that you're gonna want uh, right here. You have like icon masks, settings icons, icon effects, respring logo, and then the dock. Uh, there's even more extensions, but like I said, you guys are gonna want Snowboard and the extensions. And then like I said, these are the themes that I am currently using, some of my favorites. Um, definitely a must have when you're freshly chill broken. Being able to theme those icons with Snowboard is seriously cool. Cozy Badges allows you to have, uh, first off, no icon labels. As you guys can see, all the labels are removed. And then when you get a notification, as you can see, it basically makes a little label below the icon and it puts the name in it as well. It's kind of a cool little uh, you know, notification badge alternative tweak. I think it looks really neat. I have one here for crashed as you guys can see it does color match the little bar to the dominant color of the app icon and i think it looks really cool again that one's cozy badges now if you guys don't like cozy badges you can get another tweak that's similar and it's called a badge bar as you can see i'm running this one on my ipad there uh, and it's basically the same concept when that application has a notification it will put a little colorized bar below the app icon that way you guys know that you have a notification it's another really cool tweak uh, i like using both of them cozy badges and badge bar badge bar is just more simple and like you guys can see there i have it on my ipad and i really like using it again that's called badge bar next up is sugarcane this has been updated for ios 13 and pretty much what it does is it puts the percentage for your brightness and your volume as you guys can see in the modules there uh, in control center Basically, that's all it does is just put the percentage so you can see what your volume's at. So, you know, changing the percentage is pretty cool. And also with the iOS 13 version, if you change the volume on the side there, there's actually a little indicator as well that shows what percentage your volume is at. It's just a nice little tweak. Again, that's called Sugarcane. Calm is a really cool tweak that alters the lock screen clock and date. So if we go to it here, as you can see there, as you can see, it puts the weather there, uh, the time, and then the date, of course. Um, it's kind of like um, jellyfish, but a little bit different. You can actually have it be over to the left or to the right. You can colorize it. There's a lot of customization you can do to it, and I just like it. Again, that's called Calm. And that brings us to the next tweak here, which is called Groupy. And as you can see, it puts uh, notifications grouped within the application. So if I wanted to go into, let's say, settings here you just click on it and as you can see here is the notification uh, for my settings and I can clear it very easily just like that you can also clear them by tapping and holding on them as you can see it puts a little X there and then you can clear the notification that way um, and then it just it just groups them together nicely hence the name groupie I think it has a really cool style and it looks really good on iOS 13 again that's called groupie of course I had to include Zen HTML in this list uh, basically allows you to put widgets on the background of your home screen as you guys can see i have one right here um, and that's pretty much all it does you do have control over the the home screen and the lock screen with zen html as you can see there's lock screen and home screen the the tweak itself is actually very in depth there's a lot you can do with it if we go to home screen here and go to my background widgets i'm actually using lp27 if you guys are curious on how to get the widget i'm using 
you need to add the June's iPhone repo, and then you can get the free iWidgets application, which is right here. And then once you go in there, you can go sort by likes, and it should be on this very first page, I believe. See, there's one right there. If you find a widget you want, you just click the download button, and then you can click on yes. And now you will be able to find that widget within the settings for Zen HTML. Uh, and that's how I got the widget that I'm currently using on my device right now. Uh, like I said, you will have to add a couple repos in order to do that. But Zen HTML is definitely a must have on a freshly jailbroken iOS 13.3 device. Zebra is my package manager of choice. It's basically a Cydia alternative. Uh, there's also installer, which is pretty good, but I just prefer Zebra. I just like the functionality that's built into it. All the different stuff you can do it. The sources refresh pretty quickly. You have your changes here. You can actually look at a repo and you can filter it um, for the date that it came out. So you can go into like the Packix repo here and then you can actually uh, filter by date, which is really handy. So you can see all the newest tweaks that have came out. And I think that uh, itself is very, very functional. There's a load of other features with Zebra other than just that, um, but it's definitely my go-to package manager. I have a full review tutorial on how to use Zebra. I'll leave the video link for that down in the description, but Zebra is seriously awesome. And I think it's much better than Cydia. Battery percent X is a really cool tweak. As you guys can see, it removed my battery icon and it put the battery percent there instead. And I actually got rid of the uh, percentage uh, percentage symbol as well. It's just the number and I think it looks really clean, really simple. Just having that battery number there. I know exactly what my battery is at and it's very simple. There's actually a lot you can do with the tweak. You can customize it uh, in a, quite a lot of ways. Again, that's called battery percent X. Tweaks Manager is incredibly important in my opinion, especially if you guys use Snapchat. Um, with a jailbroken device, Snapchat will detect that you're basically running tweaks and they will actually ban you from uh, Snapchat for like 12 hours or something like that, which is incredibly annoying. But with Tweaks Manager, you can disable the jailbreak in any application you want. This is basically a go-to jailbreak bypass tweak. It'll allow you to bypass the jailbreak in any application you want. It's basically hiding the jailbreak in that application. So all you gotta do is go to your applications here. And like I said, I'm using it primarily for Snapchat. Uh, I believe I have to use it for PayPal as well. And there's a lot of other uh, applications that will have the jailbreak detection and they'll actually lock you out of it. And like I said, this will allow you to bypass it um, if we keep scrolling here down to the S's, as you can see there, I have uh, both. So once you go into Snapchat here, you can disable all tweaks and hide jailbreak. That's what I enabled. And like I said, this is kind of a go-to tweak to bypass jailbreak detection within applications, a incredibly important tool. Be sure to check it out. Shuffle is another one of those OG go-to tweaks that you just have to have. Pretty much it will put tweaks, apps, and system apps in their own sections in your settings application at the top there. So it makes it really easy to navigate around settings to get to your tweaks, uh, all of your app store applications, or even the system applications there. And it just makes settings really simple, really easy to get around and navigate in. It's just one of those go-to tweaks of mine. Again, that's shuffle. Carrierizer allows you to customize the carrier text on your device. As you guys can see, mine is just IDM for iDevice movies. Um, but you can basically change the text to anything you want. You can even put emojis in there if you wanted. Really simple, but very cool tweak. Again, that's called a Carrierizer. Boxy 4 is an absolute must have on iOS 13.3. Basically what it does is allow you to change uh, your springboard layout, where your applications are sitting, how close the spacing are of them together. You can spread them out, squish them in. Um, as you can see, you can basically just move this whole grid to put your apps wherever you want them to be, which is really cool. You can grab onto the grabber here and you can squish the icons in. As you can see, that made it a little bit wonky, um, but you can squish them in. If you go slow, as you guys can see, spread it back out. You can spread them up and down just by grabbing onto these grabbers here, as you can see. And like I said, pretty much Boxy 4 just allows you to customize 
the layout of your icons to be however you want, which is really, really cool. Um, Boxy 3 was kind of the go-to for a while, but it has been updated and you actually have a lot more control with Boxy 4. You can actually have each page of the springboard be different layouts, which is pretty insane. So if you wanted just a couple rows on the first page, you could do that and have more on the second. Uh, there's a ton of customization with Boxy 4. And like I said, it's just a must have on iOS 13, being able to uh, basically change your springboard layout. And unfortunately the X is a little hard to click there, but Boxy 4 is a must have. It's seriously cool. A font is another really cool tweak and it's gonna allow you to change the font on your iPhone system wide. This will work in settings, it'll work in applications. Like I said, it's system wide. As you guys can see, my font is a bit different. So if we go into tweaks, go to a font here, as you can see, you have your enabled and then you can choose your font. I am using the Balu Baha'i, I believe is how you say it. Um, you go into fonts here and you can basically choose any of these fonts. And then you can also go into this section here, which will allow you to browse for new fonts. So you can download even more. And that's what I've done. I went into browse fonts and I've downloaded this Balu Baha'i one, but it's really cool. You can actually run two different fonts simultaneously because you do have a bold font and a regular font. Um, and you can have, like I said, two different fonts running on your device and it's just a go-to. I think it's one of the easiest ways to make your device look really custom is just by changing the font. Very cool tweak. Again, that's called a font. So there you go, guys. Those are the tweaks I got for you in this video. Like I said, all of the tweak names will be listed down in the description along with the repos you will need in order to install them. So be sure to check that out. Also, like I said, if you guys want my wallpapers, you can find those on my Telegram. The link for that is in the description as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this best tweaks video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.